everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good in today's video we're going to do a detailed review of ba business class and emirates business class but before we move forward don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel for more amazing content <music> So first we'll cover BA business class which is called as Club World. So the seating layout of BA Club World is a yin yang configuration. This means that the seats are facing each other with a slider in between. It can be comfortable for couples but not so suitable for solo travelers. So when you are seated, you are provided a large pillow, a bag which includes a blanket and a bed cover, all supplied exclusively by the White Company in London. The width of the seat is fine for most people, but perhaps not as much elbow space compared to Emirates. It feels like you can sink into the seat. The length again should be fine for those under 6 foot 6 inches, but the yin yang layout means if you are on the aisle, people from the window seat need to step over your foot area. For the middle seat in the center aisle, it's worse. The seat has three buttons which are under the slider, upright for takeoff and landing, recline and sleep. The table is on the right hand side, which you can release by pressing the button so you can fold it down. So the footrest is folded against the seat in front of you. You can unfold this which can also become part of your bed when you slide your seat flat. Now the bed with that large pillow made for a very comfortable seat and a bed. I managed to get a good night's sleep. For storage you really only have one storage box. It's not very convenient as it's near your feet. A lot of space, yes, but inconvenient because when you have the bed mode on, you can't reach for any items stored there. The overhead bin is very large and deep, and best of all, it's shared only between the two seats under it. Now onto the Emirates Business Class seat. This is on the A380, a huge double decker plane. Looks amazing, right? The overall design is very gold and brown, a true reflection of Dubai. The seating arrangement is in a one-to-one -one layout, giving each seat plenty of space. Around the seat, there's also plenty of space to put away your small items like phones with charging points. For sleeping purposes, you are given a blanket. Emirates staff themselves make the bed ready for you. While lying down, you get a nice view of the stars spread across the plane ceiling. The seating buttons are again the same with the inclusion of moving your seat forward and backward. The footrest is a fixed cubby which is under your screen. The plane layout means every seat has an aisle axis. Every row across the plane alternates. So one row would have the window seat next to the window with their personal minibar towards the aisle. The middle seats would have the two seats next to each other which is great for couples. And the alternate row would have the window seat next to the aisle and the middle seat separated by their personal mini bars. Emirates has a greater range of choices. Next we will cover the in-flight entertainment system. BA had the screen flat against the side of the neighbor's seat. You simply push the button to release it and it pops out. Touch screen worked most of the time, but you had the remote next to your seat as well. The screen size was decent and you had a fair amount of choice available from BA. Headphones provided are very good and had noise cancellation. For Emirates, their entertainment system called ICE is the biggest plus point. The sheer amount of choice available is incredible and you won't get bored. Here the screen seemed a little larger than BA's and was fixed. The touch screen was very responsive as well as the remote. Not sure why they have a tablet, as it didn't work for either of us. So finally we come down to the food and service. Probably the best part of flying. On BA, as we sat down, we were offered beverages and snacks. BA service is probably the best. The staff are always checking up and asking if we need anything to drink. Being BA members, we already have the Muslim meal assigned. Our evening flight meant we got a full evening dinner. Always nice to get proper cutlery instead of plastic. The flight attendants set up the table with a cloth and served our dinner. 
This included starters, main and dessert separately, followed by a hot drink. The service, layout and presentation was all great. The breakfast menu is given at the dinner so you can indicate what you want and what time you wish to be waken up. In between, there is a snack bar available to eat if you feel peckish. On to Emirates. This was a late night flight, as such they also offered a dinner. The flight attendants introduced themselves with a menu and were also offered a welcome drink with dates. As the meal was all halal, we decided to select from the menu. However, it was not as big as the BA one and felt a little rushed, perhaps due to the late night. It was a three course meal but just not as filling. The in-seat minibar contained drinks and snacks which was very handy. Emirates also has a large minibar lounge area for premium passengers. Before I get to my final overall impressions, I'd like to mention the MNT kit that was provided by BA and Emirates. I discuss this in more details in my next video. And finally, both BA and Emirates had their strengths and weaknesses. But if I had to pay money for the experience again, I would choose Emirates. Just. The hard product on A380 shades the great soft product that BA offers. That's all for today guys. I hope you really liked the video. If so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.